morning. Today is Saturday and we are just kind of hanging out. Uh, for those of you that are new, my name is Laura and I have been on a meat-based carnivore diet for five and a half years now. I lost 120 pounds in the first year and have been maintaining it ever since. My husband actually is the same. He lost 100 pounds at first, been maintaining it, and he is actually right now just under two weeks post-op from his tummy tuck skin removal. I had my surgery a year ago. Um, after we lost all the weight and maintained it, we both had excess skin that was removed, but that's not what this video is about. That video about Chris and his surgery and recovery is coming soon. Mine's already here on the channel. Today, I'm just gonna take you through like what our family eats on a typical day. This morning, I am making the Starbucks dupe egg bites. My daughter loves those, those are her favorite, and then my son wants protein pancakes. I will link both of the recipes down in the description. I do make a couple of changes. It calls for like a tablespoon of bacon. We know that's not enough bacon for me. So I actually just take bacon crumbles and I put them in the microwave so that they get crispy. And then I just put probably a tablespoon of bacon in the bottom of each one of the egg cups. Put everything else in the blender. The recipe calls for spinach, but we don't eat spinach in this house. Um, so I just get it nice and smooth and pour it over the bacon crumbles. The recipe also calls for a water bath, but I don't really worry about that and they turn out totally fine. The egg bites are gonna bake for about 20 or 25 minutes. So I'm gonna make Chris in my morning drinks and then I'll start Nathaniel's protein pancakes. For Chris in the morning, I just take a little bit of ice and put it in the bottom of his thermos. And then I'm going to mix the cold brew coffee with one of the chocolate caramel elements. This salted caramel is probably the top favorite. It's a permanent flavor now, um, but it's sweetened with stevia. So it has like a thousand milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of uh, potassium and 60 milligrams of magnesium. So Chris starts his morning with one of those. Typically I do a whole packet in my big 40 ounce Stanley, but Chris has been commandeering that during his recovery. So I'll just put one in a smaller thermos. The unflavored has no sweetener. Just water it down more if it's too salty for you. But I'm gonna add, fill this up the rest of the way with water and then this is my morning drink. I also have been drinking a warm glass of chocolate chai in the evenings. I take this packet and just some hot water and it just feels like a nice cozy holiday drink um, and I don't have to worry about like breaking my fast or anything. My mom has was here visiting over Thanksgiving and she was loving this and then she would put like a splash of heavy cream in it as well and it would give her like, she used to always get Starbucks chai, but it's full of sugar and stuff. So this would be the perfect replacement. Their holiday packs are available now through February and they're limited edition only. Element has a deal for all my subscribers where you can get a free sample pack with all of their permanent flavors with any purchase. So you can get the limited edition holiday medley pack, buy that and then grab a free sample pack to go along with it and see which one of all their flavors you like best. Thanks to Element for sponsoring this content. The egg whites are gonna be done in about um, five or 10 minutes. So I'm gonna start making the protein pancakes. I'm using the Equip Vanilla Protein. They do make uh, an unflavored version. This one also has stevia in it. So if you're wanting no flavoring or no sweetener whatsoever and like 100% carnivore, they do have an unflavored version. I have not tried that one, so I don't know how it would taste, but these are clean enough. The kids love them uh, and I'm fine doing it. So I will link the recipe for these down below. I end up using five eggs in this recipe instead of four that it calls for. They will be thicker and a little fluffier with only five eggs or only four eggs. The thing that I love about this is it's just a really good way to get in extra protein if you're somebody who can't eat a lot in one sitting. One scoop of this protein has uh, 20 grams of protein and then this has five eggs in it. So one whole batch of this is like, math is hard in the morning. Um, 20 plus each, every egg is like about six grams of protein. So we're almost like 50 grams of protein in just this batch and then the gelatin also has protein in it too. If you don't have a hard time like eating a ton of protein in a day you probably don't need a protein powder but somebody like my mom she eats these a couple times a week just because she has she if you told her she had to sit down and eat five eggs in one sitting she probably couldn't do that but for some reason when you're eating it in pancake form she has no problem eating like a whole batch of these pancakes and then she's getting not only the protein from the powder, but then also from all the eggs as well. So she's getting like 50 grams of protein uh, and that's super important. The pancakes themselves are super clean, low carb, 
where you might get yourself into trouble is on if you're using and adding any toppings. Uh, I think they're delicious just taking some like warm butter and putting them on them when they're warm and just eating them in a couple of bites. I love them that way. Um, but the kids, I'll typically put a little bit of whipped cream on top or most of the time I'll take two and put some peanut butter in the middle and just make Nathaniel like some peanut butter sandwiches. When these are finished, mine kind of just start like popping out of the molds all by themselves. And then the silicone molds will start to sweat. And so once I know they're finished, I pull them out and put them on a cooling rack just so they don't get soggy on the bottom. But look at that, they're so perfect and fluffy. I can't even hold it, it's too hot, but love these. Look at that. When you're making these on the griddle, you have to remember that the batter of these is, it's not real pancakes. So you have to be really careful when you flip them. Don't try to flip them too early or they're just gonna stick and completely fall apart. You want some pancakes? Good morning. Mm -hmm. Good morning. You wanna pick out a plate? Mm -hmm. Not today, apparently. Bring me your plate. Ah. Hot, 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 hot. Okay, careful, they're hot. Yeah, I'm gonna wait a bit. Guess what I did this morning? What? I made the whole batch of the egg bites and filmed, or, and like mixed the whole thing up, and I forgot to hit record. <laughs> so I have a whole new batch, and then I had to pull, I saved it, so I'm gonna make you another batch right now, so then we'll have enough for like the whole week. <laughs> Betty, you want two more, or shall we give them to Dad? Take the other two. Of course he will. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? How are you feeling? Good. Good morning, buddy. How's breakfast? Good. I usually don't eat breakfast and um, incorporate intermittent fasting, but right now <laughs> my life is very stressful and I'm not that worried about it. And I, honestly, I just can't resist these when they're super fresh and hot out of the oven. So it is what it is. This holiday season or this chaotic time with Chris recovering and me working and the kids are homeschooled, like it's a, it's a lot going on right now. The best thing I can do is just like worry about staying carnivore. I am not that stressing out on myself about exactly how often I'm eating. As long as I'm eating the right foods, then I'm not really that worried about it. This is why I always talk about the non-negotiable thing, right? Like my non-negotiable is just like, don't eat a bunch of junk. So if I'm eating egg bites early in the morning when I normally wouldn't, it's not that big of a deal. We'll still consider this a win. After they eat whatever their protein is in the morning, then they typically have some fruit, whether it's raspberries and blueberries, or today they're gonna split an apple. Chris is doing pretty good. He's almost standing up straight, right? You can't quite stay there for very long. <laughs> We're going to share that whole video we have on his surgery recovery coming soon, but he's about two weeks out of surgery. He's doing great.
one bag. Okay, get dressed, get dressed. The kids don't do TV during the week, so they're always super pumped Saturday mornings because they get to watch a little bit of TV after breakfast and then after we finish a few chores, I'm going to go make sure Chris has everything he needs, check his drains and all that, and then um, I'm gonna take a shower. I'll talk to you guys soon. This is a big adventure for you, bud. <laughs> Playing some ball. <laughs> I can't throw the ball. That hurts. Go fetch. <laughs> you, you play fetch with our kids. <laughs> Careful. We've just been hanging out this morning. I got some laundry done and now I'm going to grill everybody some meat for lunch. I'm going to do two different meats and actually I'm cooking two packs of the Costco boneless skinless chicken thighs. Just that way I'll have leftovers for the week and chicken thighs especially reheat really well. I'm gonna do a couple of chuck eye steaks. I have three, one for me, one for Penelope and one for Chris. And then uh, some grilled zucchini for the kids. They'll eat it today and then they'll have a little bit leftover for the week as well. The chicken I used our favorite Greek Freak seasoning from Spiceology and then I'll eat mine with feta cheese. Nathaniel dip it in barbecue sauce, but that's kind of it on the chicken. For the chuck eyes, I seasoned them with adobo and smoked paprika, which is pretty much how we season all of our beef. And then I'm using my meter two thermometer, which works now on a higher heat grill. If you can't find chuck eyes in your grocery store, go watch my YouTube video that came out right before this one. Normally when he's not recovering current surgery, Chris is the one grilling and I'm working. And then we have a good routine down though. We do a family lunch together every day and the kids are good about setting the table. They grab whatever sides that they want. They kind of know like what they can choose from. We typically have like a vegetable or something on hand that they can just grab. Um, so they are getting all that ready right now while I'm grilling lunch. Doing this while filming was maybe the hardest thing I've ever done. And I totally forgot to get like a shot of them on the grill, but it all turned, I mean, who knows? I probably overcooked everything, but we'll find out soon. Chris can't really sit down yet eating just cause that sitting and leaning forward is what's hard. Um, so he stands in the kitchen and then the kids and I are gonna hang out in here. They are having some grain-free almond flour crackers. Penelope made herself a salad. And then they both have zucchini coming and chicken. Nathaniel's gonna eat chicken and Penelope's gonna eat steak. Do you think this would be good on my salad? Yes. Are you gonna try it? How did it turn out? Perfect, man. Thank you. I really wanted some bread cheese with my lunch today, but I couldn't be grilling outside and doing all this inside at the same time, so I'm gonna use it as my dessert. I have the oven baked cheese from Gardeners, and I, I can't pick it up because it's hot, but I'm gonna put, I'm gonna cut this into squares, and I'm gonna put the squares in my mini waffle maker, and then I'll have like a little individual dessert for everybody. Yeah, this This is seriously mm, my favorite thing ever. Look at that. <laughs> just, just eat just it. Just bite it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we get it. You're. Thank you. Thank it's you for cheesy, contributing. Easy. <laughs> Dad's impression of mom. <laughs> She's delicious. Penelope does all the dishes after lunch except for the knives because they are 
really sharp. And then the cutting boards, I'll do those and put them away. Um, Nathaniel has to wipe off the table and then they both go to quiet time for about an hour after lunch where they can read, play by themselves, or most of the time lately they're listening to an audiobook. Dinner is always our smallest meal of the day because Chris never eats dinner and usually it ends up being later. So we keep it really simple. It's usually just some kind of protein. Um, I had planned on making taco bowls tonight just because that's a really fun thing for the kids and I to do together. We all can kind of make it our own way, but I'm actually not really hungry. I've had egg bites and bacon and all that stuff for breakfast. And then I had that big steak and chicken and the cheese for lunch. So I think I'm just gonna skip and wait. And so I already had the ground beef thawed and with the kids only eating, I decided to do the keto sloppy joes. I will link the recipe uh, down below, but it's mainly just sugar-free ketchup is the big part of it. And then mustard, don't tell them there's mustard in it. Uh, garlic powder, onion powder, and then I do a little brown sugar uh, swerve. I made one pound of that. They will split it and then that's the entirety of their dinner. Even though they do have some carbs and other foods throughout the day, we try to keep it earlier in the day until really just all they're eating at night is some kind of protein so they're not getting like a big bunch of sugar or carbs or anything before they go to bed. I think that's all we got for today. We are gonna eat some dinner, hang out, play a little canasta, and go to bed. I hope this video was helpful. If you wanna see more content from us, hang out. I do weekly live streams, behind the scenes content, all that good stuff. You can come find me on Locals. Thanks.